Hey everyone, welcome back to Medieval Engineers. As you can see, we've gotten quite a bit done since the last time I showed you this place. First thing we'll take a look at, take a look at this little gatehouse that I've made. And as you can see, we've got an actual portcullis. Now the coolest thing about this, this actually works. It's just simply a free floating block here. I'll show you the back actually. So you can get a better understanding of how this all works. So as you can see, the gatehouse is pretty much completely hollow. There's nothing really in the middle here, except for this wall and this this board here. And uh, the sides are just completely empty. And I had to do that for structural integrity reasons. I tried putting like, let's see, what are they called? These things, platforms. I tried putting these stone platforms on either side, like this. But, well actually, yeah, more like up there. But that just caused the whole thing to crumble, so I wasn't able to do that. And uh, the only way you can actually get up to the gatehouse is via this side of the wall. I couldn't really put two sides, two entrances, one on either side, because of the way the stairs had to fit. As you can see, it curves up here. And then there's this, I like this little, this little wooden spot we have. I think it's pretty cool. I think it makes it look pretty interesting. But yeah. And then also, I had to uh, kind of make my own makeshift floors up here, because I couldn't cover up these drums. Now this is what actually operates our, our portcullis. So I think this side must raise it. You know, let's, I'm not sure actually. If I pull on this, is that raising? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, let's go to the other side. I think this is this is the one. All right, so if we just pull this a little bit, oh, that's a little too fast. Ooh, okay. Well, we raised it all the way to the top, a lot quicker than I was expecting. And as you can see, it's fully up. We can go in and out. We can also, if we wanted to, just have it halfway, like half raised. That'd look cool. But yeah, so the way I made this is just simply I put a catch block, which is the block that's inside a circle. So like this one. I put a catch block on the side of the wall like this, and then I built this gate attached to it, and then I removed the catch block, and that made it free-floating rather than being, like, rigid. And then I also, just for safety reasons, I put this, like, outer wooden frame just to make sure that it doesn't rock back and forth too much. And a cool thing that I've noticed, if we lower the uh, the portcullis here really quick, gently, kind of got to do it gently, because if you go too fast, you run the risk of shattering it, quite hilariously. All right, so if we go down, oh no, it's not quite down yet. It's not quite down. I thought it was. I thought I heard it hit the ground. There we go. A little bit more. A little bit more. <clears throat> there we go. Well, he spins his arm a lot faster. Okay, so if you'll notice here, now you'd think with it being a free-floating object, you'd just be able to push it out of, the, out of the way, right? Well, because it's I'm on this incline, you can't walk through. But if you're on the inside of the gatehouse, you can walk out. But the only problem is if you do that, like nine times out of the ten, the portcullis will just explode, which is quite hilarious. All right, and then you've probably already noticed, we've gone ahead and we've made a bunch of houses. Now there are four unique houses, the one here in the middle and the one here up on the corner, they're the exact same house. I've just moved the door from the front to the side. And then I've also, well I had to terraform a lot of this space you see. A lot of this has been flattened off, like especially in this area, and then up here where this house is setting. And then I also, I flattened off a little area here for our little stables. And I like this, this is, it's not the biggest thing, we could probably fit like, I don't know, four maybe six horses if we really crammed them in there but probably we could fit four horses comfortably in this stable which makes me think I probably need to widen it because I like to imagine that this is where I, I'd like to think that this is like a secondary kind of castle like the, the king will live here in the keep and all his rich knights and chevlars or whatever will live in these houses and then like his personal bodyguard can live in the keep with him and then I was thinking of maybe making like another castle down here at the bottom or something or, or maybe just a village I don't know because I definitely there's not a whole lot of room up here to build and I don't want to keep flattening off the area otherwise we'll just have like a sheer cliff in the mountain that would look kinda weird anyways so yeah I've got this nice little stable here if we go inside I've gone ahead and I've made these doorways I didn't want to leave it blank because I don't know I don't think it will be able to support the roof so I just went ahead and put doorways in there. See, I like that a lot. And I used the uh, 
this thatched roof or hay roof, whatever it's called. And yeah, and I've gone ahead also, I've put detail objects all around. So we've got like barrels under the wall here and on this wall, we've got like tables and chairs and uh, there's some more stuff inside the wall and we've got some chests lying around. So I've put detail objects around and I've noticed something with the chairs specifically only the chairs as I'm placing them they'll like disappear randomly and I don't think it's because there's like a limit I don't think there's a limit on the number of objects you can place like that but like this one for instance this one won't move and when I place this I placed it dynamically let's see here so yeah I just I placed it dynamically like this you know pressing J rotating it around and then dropping it and when it's placed like that, you, you should just be able to move it around, you know? But for some reason, it's it's fallen over and then it's locked itself into... Oh, well, that's weird. It's actually moving now. Huh, I thought it was... Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, anyways, that was knocked over and that should not have been knocked over. And then I've noticed in these houses, I've placed dining rooms with chairs in each house and they'll periodically, chairs will just disappear. And I have no idea why. Anyways, so each of these houses is pretty much fully furnished. We've got, I've put a lot of detail in these too. We've got places to sit here. Each house has a dining room. And really the only thing I can use to decorate are these chests and barrels. So they're just everywhere. That's what you're gonna see a lot of, chests and barrels. You see we got barrels up here, got a little desk, another little desk in here, the chair to sit, and three beds. Some houses I just put one bed in, some I put three. I like to imagine that, you know, sometimes, well, your kids grow up and they just have to live with you. <laughs> Anyways, and I'd, I'd like if there'd be a, a, well, I don't know if there are queen-sized beds back then or not. Anyways, well, I'd like to think that the people who live in these houses are ultra-rich because they have, like, wooden floors and, and one of them has a, a banner in his house. Yeah, so just a quick run through. This one's cool because it has this little extra cellar area, this little attic, which I didn't mean to put. The reason I have this is because every time I would put a wall here, it would disconnect the roof in, in a really weird way, and it would leave these really ugly gaps, kind of like here. So I tried to do something different with this roof. I really, I should have had this four wide, and it would have looked a lot better, but for some reason, the roofs won't fully connect in this way, so it leaves these gaps on the side that you can see through and so I've just had to put some timber here to cover that up but yeah and so this is another unique house this one is the only one with a little platform on the outside and this was actually the first one that I built so if we come in here as you can see we got a little dining room and look there's a chair missing where the hell is that chair did it just fall through the world I don't know <laughs> anyways so we go up here this is the only house that has one of these one of these flags and then this guy just has a single bed and a desk but yeah I didn't want to spend too much time decorating these houses because I'm gonna build quite a few I think I think I'm probably I might add one more like right here not really sure and then also really quick since we're here this is our little mine you can't really tell from this distance there we go I think it's, it might be because I'm on low textures but it kinda makes the mine look as though it doesn't even exist. But yeah, we've got some lumber here just setting out and some barrels and this just goes down and I just dug some holes to simulate a mine. I'm gonna flesh that out more in the future. Anyways, so that's pretty much that covered. That's our village with our houses. We got one, two, three, four, five houses. It's pretty nice. Nice little village. And then yeah, we got our portcullis. I showed you that, showed you the stables. Now I guess, oh, one thing real quick. So we've gone ahead, I've upgraded, or upgraded, I should say, I've fixed our little tunnel here, and I found out a pretty handy little trick. So, when you have your voxel handout, one of the biggest problems is that it, it locks in place, so you can't fine-tune it. Well, I've, I just realized if I press H, and I click this box, it unsnaps it from the voxel grid, and now I can just move it freely, and so I can do much, much more smooth actions, and I can really... It just it just works a lot better like this way in my opinion. So that's how I was able to get this to look so good. 
Yeah, I quite like that. Anyways, I also made another little tunnel over here. This is a secret tunnel. Well, not really secret, but this is just like a quick way to get up to the to the keep. So if we go through here, we've got some torches lining the way to light the area up. And then it goes up and up. And I'd like to think that eventually they have they'd have like explosive barrels in the game. And we can just roll a few explosive barrels down this, this tunnel and collapse it if enemies were coming up behind us. That way they couldn't sneak up into our keep. So this, like, tunnel leads into the keep through this little doorway in here. And now this is kind of unfinished at the moment. I'm still working on it. So if we go outside, you can see we're in the keep now. So I think that's pretty cool. So it's a quick way for people to get to and from the wall from the keep without having to go all the way around the front. Pretty nice. Anyway, so in this area, as you can see, I've added this secondary tower, not tower really, but this secondary level. And then these, I've kind of put these rounded walls here. I think that looks really cool. At first it was just a sheer angle. It was just sharp and ugly. And putting that there really helps just round it off and make it look a lot better, I think. But yeah, so, I guess I'll show you the inside right now. Let's start from the bottom. That way we can get the best feel for it. So you're going to go up like this. And I've had to change things. So there used to be a door here, but you can't walk under these archways when they're only a half an archway. So I had to just put it in the side like this. So that's still intact. And then, let's see. So this is a cool little area. We've got this stairway now that leads up here, so there's actually a way to get to this level. And then we have, I think this is really cool looking. So we've got this arch, and this like switchback stair almost. I think that's pretty cool. And then I've got, at the moment, this is where I'm going to have my throne room, I've decided. I still need to hollow out the area, and I think there's quite a few things I need to make, actually, like servants' quarters and whatnot. And then this area is also going to be tunneled out probably at some point I think yeah this is and this is where we came from this is to the secret tunnel so if we go up one more level then we have our little rounded turret place and then if we go up yet again we get to the top and this is where I think I'm gonna end it or not in oh well this is where I've pretty much decided we have a big enough keep. We don't need to really make it any larger than it is. And so on this side right now, there's pretty much nothing. I think I'm going to make, well, yeah, I think I might make maybe our king's bedroom and other bedrooms for the royal family or something. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. And then on this side, this is our barracks and our armory. So on this door, I imagine this is the armory. We've got chests full of armor, barrels filled with swords and arrows or whatever. And then I think that'd be pretty cool. I think they either need to add that in or someone needs to make a mod where it's just arrows sticking out of the top of the barrel. I think that'd be pretty cool. And then we've got just our the place for our men to sleep. And as you can see, it sleeps six. So I'd like to think, I don't know if I'll, I'll make, I could make the other side a barracks as well. Because then you could say we have 12 Kingsguard or something. I don't know. But yeah, so that's, I think that's pretty much everything that I've changed since the last update. It's really coming along nicely. We've got a lot nicer looking keep, I think. Because at first it was just that small bottom section, and now we have this huge upper section. I, I, could, I could keep going up, but I don't know if I want to. And I don't know if I should add more towers over there. Maybe I could, you know, I could have a tower coming up here and a tower coming up here. Or I could just keep tearing it up until I got to maybe this area. I don't know. I'm not really sure how big I want to make this place. I'm definitely going to add another house. I'm definitely going to flesh out the keep a little bit more, you know, make a throne room. And I'm probably, one of the big things I have in mind is I'm going to make some way of getting, like, resources and, like, specifically lumber up to this place. Because at the moment, the only way to get up is this incredibly steep incline. And you can imagine there's not a lot that would be able to traverse up here. Like, I don't even, would this be too steep for a horse to go up? I don't know. Maybe. It's definitely too steep for a cart. Unless you, like, pulled it up with ropes. So what I'm thinking is one of two things. 
making somehow making some sort of like cable car that goes from the top down or making some sort of elevator that goes down into a mine shaft and then making some sort of secret like tunnel entrance like over here i think that'd be pretty cool but yeah so that's what i'll do that's what i'll be working on in the meantime well until the next update thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time